Yo, what's up YouTube? It's me KV. As you guys may know, I made a tutorial on how to emote up 5 months ago. Well, my knowledge of emote hopping and advanced movement at that time was pretty limited. And so today, I'll be teaching you everything that I learned so far. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. This tutorial is still being requested as of now and I wanted to update you guys on what I've learned so far. Well, first of all, you need an FPS unlocker. Evade is a game that heavily relies on FPS. For example, the more FPS you have, the better you can time your bunny hops. Now this depends on what you're trying to do, but we're talking about emote hopping here. So the recommended FPS for emote hopping is about 90 to 227, okay? Now for FPS unlocker, there is two options. One is FPS unlocker and two block strap they both do the same thing though i would suggest using block strap since you can pretty much set your fps to any amount you desire right now i have about 60 fps so there you go you can see fps 60. roblox itself without fps and locker you you will have a consistent 60 fps okay now if you type speedometer you can actually see how fast you're going, right? And I can get like 50 movement speed. Okay, now I'll teach you guys how to download block strap. So all you have to do is go to this link, which I'll leave in the description below. Now click this and then click on this. Now you just save, open it, more info, run anyway. This is the only thing that matters, okay? You go on fast flags and go on frame rate limit, okay? It unlocks your FPS so you can go higher than 60, but you can add a limit which you can be stuck on. Anyways, after putting 227, you just click install and you just wait for it. Connecting to Roblox, installing Roblox. Here you go, now we're playing Roblox. There you go, look at it. 227, perfect, right there. There you go. Now you can clearly see the difference between 60 FPS and 227 FPS, okay? You can clearly see how smooth the gameplay is now, right? See, you can even go much faster and much higher. I can go 50 movement speed or more without even trimping. Next, let's talk about low quality mode. This basically just makes your game have little to no detail, which can increase your FPS, especially if your PC is struggling. Also, for some reason, it makes you bounce more consistently, probably because you have more FPS. I have high quality on and I have graphics quality to the max, okay? So I'll show you guys the bouncing doesn't really work that much. See how the bounce isn't really that high? Now let's do low quality mode with uh, two bars of graphics. Oh my god, bro, yeah, look like at this. Look how yeah. high I can <laughs> bounce off. Yep. Yeah. This is so yeah. much better, bro. Like, look. Yeah, I like to solve the puzzle. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Look how much better that is, bro. Next up, field of view or FOV for short. This is purely for aesthetic and personal preference. For me, I use the max settings, which is 90. Basically, gives you this wide perspective, which can be helpful when juking next bots, and it makes your gameplay look way faster and way cooler. Bro, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, who even plays like this, bro? It's like slapping it in my face. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, I hate this one. It's just too close. Now this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like. Just the perfect amount of distance between my character and my screen, you know? And it looks way cooler. So that's why I love playing with this FOV, bro. Now let's talk about the movement itself. But first, I need to address this, bro. Because some of you are still struggling on how to strafe or bunny hop. Bunny hopping is just jumping forward and timing your jumps perfectly to gain momentum, okay? Okay, so this is what happens if you don't perfectly time your bunny hop, right? So you walk forward, you jump, and then you walk again, and then jump. 
So if, if this is how you do it, then you're not doing it perfectly. See how we're stuck on 35 to 47 speed? That's because we're not doing it correctly, okay? Now, this is what happens if you bunny hop perfectly, okay? So you walk forwards, right? Then jump, and then consistently jump. Like, perfect timing, okay? See? We're over... 47 to 51 of speed by doing it perfectly so it gives you this massive boost in speed just by perfectly timing your bunny hops okay now let's talk about strafing how do you even strafe well all you have to do with strafing is move left and move right so how so you press w and then you press a and turn your mouse to the left Congratulations, you strafe left. All you have to do is press W, press D, and turn your mouse to the right. Now you combine both of them, and you have this. Now you're perfectly st strafing. So combine bunny hop and strafing, and you have this. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. And here we are, the moment you've all been waiting for emote hopping since we already talked about bunny hopping and strafing let me introduce you to the bridge to emote hopping which is slide hopping slide hopping is just bunny hopping plus strafing while holding crouch or control button now for emote hopping you just basically slide hop but with emote okay as i said before you need fps and locker for this to work as smooth and as consistent okay every emote is different some works better for the ground some works better for trimping for example the broom is relatively slow on the ground but excels on trimping as it has a big hitbox but in general if you want to emote hop consistently and maintain your speed all you have to do is trim on ramps, fences, and objects consistently and never stay on the ground for too long as it will make you lose momentum. But KB, how do you actually emote hop? Well, all you have to do is press G and select any emotes you desire, okay? So like this. Now, there is another way to actually emote hop since the manual one requires a lot of timing so i don't really recommend this one okay now what i recommend is using something called x mouse okay go to this which i'll link in the description below click on this use download the latest version i'll teach you how to actually set it up okay now you're only gonna have this default right now what you have to do is click add then open your roblox find roblox player beta.exe click on it click ok and after that go to it doesn't really matter which one you choose from here which one you want to use for macro but what i'm using is for wheel up it's my g and one so this is for my emote hopping that's that's why i can emote hop really fast okay or i can even emote mid-air normally you wouldn't be able to do it just look i'm pressing g and one it doesn't work but if i use macro see it does work so all you have to do click on it click simulated keys go to setting type g1 one as mouse button is pressed click ok now for wheel down my wheel down is for my bunny hopping basically i spam wheel down a lot that's why i can perfectly time my bunny hops right so here all i have to do select it go to simulated keys as well go to settings type space or whatever and then what matters is this one okay click this select eight sticky okay apply then there you go you can now emote hop very fast and very efficient you can even emote mid-air there you go see 
How you don't have to manually press it over and over whenever you're trying to fucking evil pop. Also, I learned this trait a few days ago, I think. There's another way for emote hopping where you can use emotes that are way too slow for emote hopping. Thanks for Arianist for teaching me this one, by the way. So what you're gonna do is equip a very slow emote like penguin dance for example penguin dance barely moves bro so what you're going to do is you need something you can equip like guns radios compass anything at all but you equip radio and you go on third person perspective now what you're going to do is slide hop while equipping the radio now if you have macro this is way easier but if you don't bro i don't even know how you can press all this fucking shit there you go now you can emote hop using hard emotes. Very goofy, very fun. Yo, but KB, how do you maintain speed? There's two things you can do to maintain speed. All you have to do is go on a ramp or a slope like this or this. And all you have to do is face which way the slope is going to. So for example, I'm looking right here, right? So I'm gonna face this way while sliding. And it's supposed to... There you go. See? Your final test. That's how you maintain speed or at least gain speed, right? Now that I've gained speed, how do I maintain it? All I have to do is trim. By trimping, you basically boost your speed on emote hopping. So that's how you gain or maintain speed.